everybody, Jerry Turner here from the Countryside Restoration Trust. Today I'm at Pierpont Farm in Frensham in Surrey. And Pierpont Farm is a 200 acre dairy farm and it's home to an award winning herd of Jersey cows. Now one of the special features of this farm is its robotic dairy. But today we're not going to be focusing on the cows. We're going to be finding out what lives beneath the water here in the wildlife pond. To find out what's living in the water, we're going to need to do some pond dipping. So we're going to need some equipment to do that. A net, a tray, which is filled with some pond water, and also a pond invertebrate identification card. And many of these can be downloaded from the internet. To transfer the pond creatures safely from the pond into my tray, I'm going to be using my net. And I'm going to swirl the net in a figure of eight. Backwards and forwards, around and around. And then I'm going to lift up my hand underneath and very gently I'm going to turn over and I'm going to swish through the water so that all of the pond creatures can swim into the tray. So let's see if we can put a name to some of these pond creatures. First of all here we've got a pond snail. Now pond snails can't actually breathe underneath the water but what they do they come to the surface, they take in air and keep it tightly close to their shell and then they go under and use it up and then return to the surface. We've also got newtlets which are baby newts and if you look closely you can see little frills on the back of their neck and that's how they breathe. We've also got a mix of nymphs and these are the creatures that you can see darting around very very quickly. Many of these are damselfly nymphs and they've got three tails and they're slightly feathered in appearance. Another one of my favourites is the water boatman and you can see he swims on his back and he uses his limbs like the oars of a boat, hence his name the water boatman. We've got a mix of other creatures as well, we've got a ram's horn snail here and lots of other things that are crawling around. We've got a water stick insect here and we've even got some a hog louse crawling along the bottom. So we had a really good pond dipping session there. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to pond dip today and also seeing some of the creatures that live underneath the water. Now pond dipping is great fun but like any water activity it has an element of danger so do make sure that all children are supervised at all times.